Style. Okay, who hasn't shuffled across a carpet and went to touch a metal doorknob and then suddenly to be whoo, shocked? Okay, and your hair feels like it's standing up on end. Well, our very own science guy, Dan Kohler, is here to explain the science behind that electric shock. That's right. What mm. exactly is static electricity science guy? I mean, listen, it's, it's <laughs> winter, and we saw this in the open with Orly's hair, right? You pull off a wool cap in the winter, and all of a sudden your hair is standing on end. It's something that we are all familiar with, and it's yeah. kind of... Well, except for you, you and I can't. Wow, wow. That's sort of a serious disadvantage here. Uh, truth be told, so static electricity is a very simple explanation. It's just a buildup of extra electrons. What does that mean? Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so in order to explain how we get extra electrons, we need to take a look at um, what makes up all of the matter in the planet, in, in the world. And that are, th these are atoms. So this is, this is what an atom looks like. In the center, you've got neutrons and protons. Those neutrons and protons are incredibly tightly packed together. They do not want to separate. But rotating in those orbits around are electrons. Electrons are pretty free flowing. They jump easily from atom to atom, from molecule to molecule. That's cool. They are yeah, not, so electrons yeah, are really laid back. Yeah, they are not like, beholden yeah. really to any one place. Now, in, yeah, yeah. in a normal hippies. atom, <laughs> the number of protons <laughs> exactly. and electrons is balanced, which means the atom has no charge. It's completely neutral. But as you, let's say, you shuffle across the floor like this, your yeah. feet actually pick up some of those extra electrons from the carpet. And then all of a sudden, your body overall has a slightly negative charge. Now, as we know, uh, opposites attract, but so that means like charges repel, right? Okay. Right. So in your body, when you have too much of a negative charge, all of those electrons go all the way out to your <laughs> extremities. And then all of a sudden, if you go and reach for something metal, which might have a positive charge, these scissors or a door handle, those electrons, they have a new home. They want to go to a place where there's a they positive do. charge. They literally jump from your body to the next place. Wow. And they rip the air in half, essentially, and create plasma. And that's why you see and hear a spark. A spark. They will tell you oh. if you... Oh. Now we understand <laughs> it. If I, I'm going to get a little geeky, because sometimes I work on computers. Please do. And they will tell you to make sure you put it on a surface, make sure you get rid of yeah. any static electricity you have. Because you could touch that motherboard and whatnot. You can and it, fry the it whole fry thing. The whole you computer. want to make sure you're grounded. I mean, yeah. And actually, it's it's remarkable how much electricity you can just hold in your own body. I said this in the open. You can actually gather up to 20 or 25,000 volts just by That's shuffling, insane. just by the friction of, of sort of ripping electrons off other fabrics. Why does it seem that some people have more static electricity than others? <laughs> than others. Does it mean they're more negative? <laughs> uh, they have bad personalities? What's I mean, the problem? From a, from a chemistry perspective, yes, they are more negatively charged. <laughs> yeah. But actually, it's interesting. If you have very dry skin, you're going to pick up more free electrons than somebody who's really well moisturized. So stay moisturized. So stay, mo <laughs> stay moisturized. Yeah, Follow reason. Sandra's uh, uh, makeup tips from the open, right? Okay, that's right. Stay well moisturized. So but the, but the, I want to so show something. He's actually escaped. Can we bring back up that graph? Probably I want to do so. a side by side with you. <laughs> a side by side with you. Yeah. I want to understand is this escape? Look at how the colors just matched. Oh, yeah. oh, very, very, very yeah. nice. I have to relate yeah. more yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Look at yeah, that. We, yeah. we plan everything like that. Obviously. Everything well, is yeah. obvious. Yeah. I love this How much show. does He's the brilliant. weather I have to deal it. with it? Because it seems like more wintertime, right? Yeah, this is interesting, too. Uh, it's not so much the weather, but uh, humidity. So the air quality around you. And in the winter, we turn on our heaters, and that generally dries out your house. Now, a drier air is going to uh, mean that you, you collect more static electricity. Moisture in the air, any humidity, essentially coats all of the surfaces and uh, water is a really great conductor so it's it's continually sloughing sloughing off extra oh. electrons dry air won't do that so here's i, I want to show you a really quick fun activity okay you guys yeah, show us how to do this we're going to recreate those produce static, bags you right? have at the grocery store this is great for your kids just snip off one end of it and you can you know get seven or eight rings out of this what you have here just a ring of plastic and then blow up a balloon and take a towel now, I'm going to slough off a bunch of electrons onto this balloon. Okay. Just gathering a lot of the negative charge onto this balloon. Sloughing electrons. Yep. And we're going to set that down. And now I'm going to do the same thing to this little strip of plastic. You want to make sure that this also has a negative charge because remember, similar, uh, oh. similar charges uh. <laughs> will oh, repel each other. Now, oh, here's the fun part. Throw that plastic in the air and... You can make it float just oh. with your balloon. Okay, let's try. Hang on. What? No, Wait, no, Mark, no. Are you ready, Mark, you ready to try this with me? Okay. Yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay. So how do you get it off your fingers? You. Do you okay. think you can beat me on this? Okay, hang on. I, I don't think I can. It's stuck. I know. It's stuck, it's stuck, stuck to me. Okay. 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 Just stick it. I'll help you. I'll help you. Just stick it in me. Oh. Oh. 
Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Sorry, Daddy. Yeah, go. I think I wiped mine off. <laughs> nice! Oh, You're a pro. Nice. You're a pro. <laughs> oh, my God, this is sticking to me. Oh, look, look, look. Sandra, oh, you Sandra got yeah. it. Ooh, yeah, Sandra, sticking really to me. cool. Okay, who can get I'm that? sticking to my foot. Look at mine. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> who can get theirs to float the longest? Oh, wow, <laughs> Sandra got it good. Look at that. This is. Fun. See you later. Mark, bye, Mark. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mark. Mark, 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 Mark,